well, let's talk about Python loops. The first one we'll talk about is the for loop. Let's say we have a for loop that says for x in the range of 15 through 20. And then a colon. I want to print out the markup, I'm abbreviating, percentage is whatever that x is divided by their retail selling price, which is $45. And I hit enter, enter, and we can see that their, their markup percentage is going up. 0 0.33, 0 0.35, 0 0.37, then 40, then 0.42. And the uh, markup percentage of 40% is simply the markup over the retail selling price. So they buy something at $10, they mark it up by 15, then 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And the markup percentage is the markup, whatever number is in this range, divided by their retail selling price. Well, in our case, it was $45. So you can see that their markup percentage is getting higher and higher. Is that sustainable? If you go too high, no, it's not. The next thing we want to do is I want to take a word, ratio analysis, and I want to turn that into a list. So I'm going to say x is equal to, I want you to turn something into a list for me, Mr. Python. He says, what would you like me to turn into a list? The words ratio analysis, close quotes, and close friends. And now if I key in x, every single one of those letters is their own element within the list. So if I key it in x, and 2, I would get 0, 1, 2, that T right there. Let's see if that's true. Yep, it's true. All right, now, what shall we do with this? I have a great idea. Let's print it out. All right, so how do we print this out? For, for A in X, colon, what do I want to do with this? I want to print out every occurrence of X. So I should get ratio analysis all vertically aligned on my screen. Almost. Well, as you can see, this did not work. Why did it not work? Because I put in the wrong letter. You should have put in an A. Oops. All right. Do it again. For A in X. Print not the X array, but the variable A. And there we go. Ratio analysis. All well and good. Let's take a look at some useful loops for dictionaries. Let's say I had a dictionary called Z. I want to map out colors to hexadecimal codes. And specifically, I'm interested in the colors aqua, black, and chocolate. Because I'm always using these on my website developments. What are the hex codes for these guys? H equals, and then in curlys, aqua, colon, and now that's 0x, 00f, fff. That's a hexadecimal code for aqua. And then black, it's a very hard one to remember. 0x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then, of course, there's my super duper favorite, chocolate. And that is 0x D2691E. Close curlers. There we go. Can H. Oh, look at what I get. I get the decimal equivalent of these hexadecimal numbers. Black. Zero. I would like to print these out in a loop. How would I go about doing that? For X in H. H is the uh, dictionary. Ah, fox. H, X, and H. That's great. For X in H. That was great. And what I want to do is I want to print out two things. I want to print out X, and I want to print out the uh, associated value to that key. So I'm going to key in H, and then I'm going to use the squares. And I'm going to use the x as an index. So for every x and h, so it goes through h. And one at a time, it takes the first key, aqua, puts that into x. And x gets printed out here, aqua. And then it says uh, h, Mr. h, that's this guy. 
says, yes. Uh, you know that X guy? Yes, that's uh, Aqua right now. I want to see his uh, associated value. And that's how you say the associated value. Okay, let's see what happens. We hit the enter once, twice. And look what I get. Aqua, 65535-1378947. Now, these guys are the decimal equivalents of these hexadecimals. It's printing out the decimal equivalent of those hexadecimals. But is that right? Can we be sure? Uh, the only way to find out is to test it. So let's get the calculator up here, like so. And I'm going to click on hexadecimal. And then over here, I'm going to key in 00 FFFF. And I'm going to switch this now over to decimal. Let's see what number I get. 65535. Exactly. That's this guy. Let's do a tougher one. This. D2691E. So let's clear this off. Let's put this on hexadecimal. And now I'll key in D2691E. I'm going to now click on decimal. And let's see what that turns into. That turns into this number here, 1378947. This thing works. This thing works well. Go back to hex. And as you can see, it's D2691E. Wow, fabulous. Well, that's all I want to talk about for now. This is George Bull. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please rate it. I would appreciate it very much. And I hope to see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.